Hello on the Daily Family. Welcome back to the show. I'm so happy you're here. Happy Friday or whenever you're listening to this. Today I'm going to talk about brand versus business because uh, I think there's a lot of confusion on that when I talk about it. And um, I think what I have to say about it could kind of maybe, hopefully, will be the thing that you need to kind of flip a switch in your brain so that you can get back to building the dream life and dream business and dream career um, that you have set out to build. Uh, Before I do that, I have to tell you about Hype You Media. Uh, My business partner and I founded a media company and podcast network a couple months ago, and we launched softly. Uh, But we are about to fully launch this thing. And uh, we've invited, we've signed on some incredible shows to our network that are so, so good and all about the areas of entrepreneurship that HypeU Media focuses on. We have four different pillars at HypeU Media. One of them is um, innovation. One of them is strategy. One of them is leadership. And the last one is energetics. And we believe those are the four pillars to uh, sustainable, healthy career as an entrepreneur. And so what we're doing is we're inviting shows that embody one or more of those pillars to join us on this network where we'll cross promote and we will share each other's information and we will um, kind of work together to build this community of like-minded people. Uh, So the network is for you, uh, but you will get a chance to hear from world-class coaches and really to kickstart your entrepreneurial journey just by listening to the shows on our network. And aside from that, we are also launching Hype University, which will be an on-demand training platform where you can pay a very low entry fee and become a member of this community where you'll get weekly um, on-demand and live trainings. There'll be different courses in there for you to take. You'll be able to connect with other similar like-minded entrepreneurs such as yourself. It's just going to be a really beautiful place. And so the Instagram for Hype U Media is officially up. It's Hype U underscore media. U is, it's H-Y-P-E-U, like the letter underscore media. And I really hope that you give us a follow and check out our website as well uh, because you can get on our wait list to learn more about Hype University when we go to launch it. You can also get to know the, some of our shows uh, that we've signed on. And if you're not listening to them, you can kind of start to listen to them. They are so incredible. And this show is just one of the many shows that will be on this network. So I hope that you get a chance to check out Hype U Media. Check out the website and let us know... Uh, what you think. And if you have any questions, you can always slide into my DMs at Danielle underscore on the daily, or you can slide into the DMs of hype you and we will make sure we can do our best to answer them for you. Today is actually, I'm hosting a masterclass. So if you're here, just hearing this now and you want to get on this masterclass, know that you can, even if you miss the live class, everything is recorded and you'll get lifetime access. So not a big deal at all. If you can't make it live or if you miss the live, uh, but the the masterclass is called creating content that sells. And this is something I'm really big about. I think that a lot of entrepreneurs forget that your Instagram, your TikTok, your social media, your email list, wherever it is, are extensions of your brand and should be used as a tool. And one thing I am really good at is creating content that converts to sales. And I do that with pretty simple strategy, but also some intuition and a lot of love. And I'm going to teach in this masterclass, I'm literally teaching all of it. So we're going to talk about branding. We're going to talk about um, the actual how-tos of how to connect your audience to your content in a way that will convert to sales and more paying clients. And so If this is an area where you struggle and you feel like you just like post and pray or you're like putting stuff out into the void and you're just so confused as to why nobody's buying, I'm going to highly suggest this masterclass. You can click the link in our show notes to register for that or you can come find me on Instagram and I can send you the link as well. But creating content that sells, it's a masterclass, it's so needed and I just have talked to so many people who are like, that is what I need. That is the piece that I am missing when it comes to social media is how to create the content that's going to convert to more sales. 
and I am the perfect person to teach you this because I built this entire business and I sold over a hundred thousand dollars worth of coaching before I ever had a website. I did it all through my content and stories and in other businesses I've done very similar things. So this is something I'm super passionate about and I really hope that you join us in this masterclass because it is a banger. The meat and potatoes of today's episode, and we're going to keep it short and sweet, but this is a clarification that I feel like I make in the DMs a lot. And so I figured let's make a full episode about it because this is um, an area that I think some people struggle with and it doesn't have to be as complicated, I think, as a lot of people are making it. So the difference between your brand and your business, and a lot of people are like, my brand is my business. And I'm going to respectfully disagree with you and I'm going to say, no, it's not. And the reason I'm saying that is because I think we we are made to think that our brand is our business. But the thing is, if your brand is your business, then anytime you change your business, anytime your business pivots, anytime you decide to go in a different direction, anytime you decide to add something to your business, if your brand identity is your business, then your audience is going to have a really hard time with any changes because they are going to get to know you as your business in the current state it's in. So any changes you make, there will be fallout for. And I just don't want you to have to deal with that. So the way that I avoid that in my own business is by not really making my business my brand. My brand is Danielle McCleary. My businesses, all of them, are extensions of my brand. And the the reason why that little piece is so powerful is because what that means is that above everything, no matter what I do, no matter what I offer, no matter what programs I put out, no matter what products I sell, no matter what brands I affiliate with, I am the brand, aka Danielle on the Daily is the brand. And that brand stands for love and it stands for inclusivity and it stands for using your intuition to live the best life you can. And that is what my brand stands for. So no matter what I offer as an extension of that brand in my business, I have committed followers. And I have a network of people that are willing to buy from me because the question is never, I don't know what she's doing. I don't get it. I don't get what Danielle's doing. So I'm not going to buy her stuff. That's never the question of my network because my network knows that they follow me because Danielle is who they follow. They don't follow me because I'm a coach. They don't follow me because I have a podcast network. They didn't follow me because I was like actively building a network marketing business. The reason why people follow you is because of you. And I say this all the time, but it's so true. Your your people, your network will always buy from you before they'll ever, they'll always buy you before they will ever buy what you sell. And I think we get this really confused because I see so many people on Instagram and they'll post all about what they offer all the time. It's just a big billboard for their business. And that's great. I'm not saying you shouldn't post stuff like that, but if I go to your page and I can't pretty quickly find out like who you are, what you're about, see your face, hear your voice, then I'm probably not going to buy from you because I don't trust you. And so much of building a business and building a brand relies on trust. The net, your network, your audience has to trust you before they will ever even think of buying anything from you. And so if all you're doing is focus on building a business and everything you post is about that business, and then everything other than what you post about your business is like long drawn out stories that you're just like telling, you know, a manifesto about your life, or you're doing a lot of complaining, or it's super overly political, or it's super overly um, judgy. Nobody's going to buy from you. 
Like I should be able to go to, I tell my clients this all the time. I should be able to go to your page and I should very quickly be able to find out who you are, what you're about and what you sell, of course. Um, but I should be able to see your face. I should be able to hear your voice and I should be able to determine pretty quickly whether or not I align with you as the person. Because about as quickly as someone will leave your page if they don't align with you, people will leave your page because they can't figure out if they align with you. Because think about it. If we are going to be selling products and we're going to be selling services and, you know, things in our business at a high ticket price point, people only want to do that if they feel compelled to. And, you know, and I hear this a lot like, oh, people just don't have the money. Like my network can't afford me. Which, by the way, is not true. Your network can afford you because if your network didn't buy from you, they probably went out and bought like $300 of shoes or clothes or something, or at least spent a ton of money on Starbucks. So it's like people will spend the money on things that they find valuable. And if somebody is on your page and they're interacting with your content, chances are they do care about what you have to say, but maybe you just have not compelled them enough to purchase from you. And that's because you've been too focused on building a business instead of building a brand. And I get this question a lot, like how were you able to just pivot from fitness instructor to network marketer, to business coach, to podcast coach, to, you know, media company founder. And it's because I never made my identity my business. My identity was always Danielle and Danielle is a brand. Danielle on the daily is a brand. And then everything I do is an extension of that brand. And that's why people will buy from me, whether it's putting out a new product for my coaching business, whether that's talking about hype you media, people are interested because they trust me. And so many of these brands that you buy from, you don't buy from Nike because of the black swoosh right? You buy from Nike because of who they are and what they stand for. And the fact that they've had consistency over time, that's a whole other podcast episode that I'm sure I will do, but consistency in your brand is also really important because if you're building a brand and one day you are this person and this is what you stand for. And then the next day you're this person and that's what you stand for. And then the next day your brand colors are this. And then the next day your brand colors are that, then that's also confusing to the to the consumer, to the buyer. And if you really want to attract people who are like, yes, I want to give this person money, you're going to have con have to have consistency for a little while. I'm not saying don't ever rebrand and I'm not saying don't ever, um, like bring in a new fresh perspective. What I'm saying is don't change course more than you change your underwear. Because that also leads to, leads to distrust of your audience. And if you're, like I said, if your audience does not trust you, they are not buying from you, period. So, you know, I, I will see people, they'll get in, they will get inconsistent in their business for a month or something. And then they come back and they talk about how inconsistent they were and how it's okay though, because they're back but then they do the same thing over again. It's like, that is not a good look for your brand either. If you do take a break, that's great. Just rejoin the conversation whenever you can. Don't get to the point where you're like, oh, I left and now I can't come back. Because if you think about these good brands, if a brand like leaves social media temporarily, right? They come back and they're just like, okay, I'm back. And that's, that's what, the, that's how you build a brand. You build a brand by being consistent in your brand. And even if you have to like leave the party for a little while, that's okay because you're coming back and you are focused on building the brand, not just the business. And because I've built a brand, I, that's why I can take a week or two off of work and not really do anything and still make money. Right? Because if you're only building the business, then if you're not currently working, then you're not going to make money. Building a brand ensures that you can continue to make money even if you are taking off a couple weeks for your wedding or whatever you take time off for. So focus on building the brand before you build the business. And again, if you want more of this, you have to get into my masterclass that's happening today. Uh, it's Friday, April 7th. 
And if you've missed it live, you can always get the recording of it and watch it evergreen and watch it later. And I think that's a really beautiful option as well. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions at all, you can always slide into my DMs at Danielle underscore on the daily and we will make sure that we answer your questions. But I hope you have the most amazing day ever and we'll be back on Tuesday with another episode. Love ya.